Superintendent's report. Be before I get started, I want to uh, allow for some load balancing in the room. If, if you guys would like to shift to where there's chairs, there's a bunch of people standing up in this corner. Feel free to, to move if you would like. <laughs> So for my report, I want to begin tonight by thanking, the Ple thanking Pleasanton Mayor Carla Brown and City Council Members Valerie Arkin, Jack Balch, and Jeff Nyberg for voting in support of the Planning Commission's recommendation to adjust housing density on our Brunel property, enabling us to move forward in providing our employees the opportunity to live in the community they serve through workforce housing. I hope to see Pleasanton be the first community in the Tri-Valley to dedicate significant time and resources to evidence our collective commitment to create opportunities for developing workforce housing and thus enabling more of our employees to call Pleasanton home. We still have a lot of work to do, but this is a critical first step in the process. It was heartening to hear comments from the City Council during their meeting that we in fact do share a common commitment to making workforce housing a reality through the Pleasant, throughout the Pleasanton community. I look forward to ongoing collaboration with the City and I intend to share further updates with the community as we move forward. We have many other reasons to celebrate. I'd like to congratulate, as the young ladies just mentioned, Hart Middle School uh, and the, the entire community for being uh, designated again as a 2023 school to watch by the California League of Ed Educators. This recognition is in addition to Hart's recent designation as a 2023 National Blue Ribbon School. Somebody's having a good year this year. And it speaks to the important work at the campus to support student social and emotional health as well as their ongoing academic success. Likewise, I want to congratulate Foothill High School's competitive civics teams for win team for winning the California State We the People Championship. <laughs> right over there, one of the state champions from Unit 6. Yes, you did well. They won the champions this past championship this past week, and they will travel to Washington, D.C. in April for the Nationals. Um, joining them in Washington, D.C. will be the competitive civics team from Amador Valley High School, who captured second place in the California competition and will be the California wild card um, in the Nationals. So well done to both of our high schools. Let's get them a round of applause. Special congratulations are due to their coaches, Graham McBride, Jeremy Dedimore, and Stacey Scalar, who dedicate hundreds of hours with the students as they prepare for the competitions every year. And just about every year, they both go to the nationals. That's pretty darn cool. We're really, really proud of these amazing teachers and, of course, their incredible students, and wish them best of luck in Washington, D.C. I'd like to invite the community to the fourth annual State of the District event hosted in partnership with our friends at PPIE on Tuesday, February 28th at 9 a.m. It'll be held at the Firehouse Arts Center and there we'll share our 22, uh, 2022 annual report in celebrating the many things that are occurring throughout the district. And finally, I want to acknowledge emails received from several parents, as well as comments made this evening concerning school safety and culture at Hart Middle School. We appreciate the time invested by parents of current and rising middle school students as they participated in school parent community meetings to both express their concerns and offer their support to the school. While I don't intend to go into further detail tonight, please know that the district team is working with the site administration to address your concerns and to ensure a safe, inclusive, and academically rich environment is ac accessible for all of our students every day. I said heart, I meant PMS. I'm sorry about that. That's my report, okay. as messed up as it was. Okay, any questions for the superintendent? Okay, that brings us to the consent calendar.